biggest challenge in connectivity on a cruise ship is the, the amount of time it takes for, for data to get from the ship to the satellite and then back to Earth and then back again. That, that's, considered, that's called latency, and that latency today is almost 1,000 milliseconds, which is very, very slow, and it prevents you from really using the system in, a, in an adequate way. Um, what O3B brings to the table is that their satellites are actually closer to Earth, so the latency factor is much, much less. Plus, they can provide the ship a lot more capacity than it's available today in the market. Well, in terms of latency, first and foremost, I think it makes a world of difference. Uh, you know, we were going from uh, you know, the typical geostationary or incline orbit satellite connectivity to now having satellite connectivity but at fiber-like latencies. So from a pure uh, browsing experience, it makes a whole world of difference, comparable to what you have in the Western world, basically comparable to, to fiber type latencies. The biggest um, issue that we've had with our current internet service is because of the geosynchronous uh, satellites and latency. So with A3, O3B uh, we expect to overcome the latency issues uh, and in fact we will probably uh, end up hosting most of our applications in fact offshore because we'll be able to access them at high speed, higher speed from here. Latency, definitely latency. Um, because latency allow us to, to provide more services and allow us for each application to increase their throughput. So we have a network um, downstream to, 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 to O3B of 3G networks that can allow access to 21 megabit per second per user. But with a geostationary sa satellite, we cannot achieve that, that, uh, that capacity. Um, we're getting about 110 millisecond um, ping time to Hawaii and then not much more further on to San Diego. So that was about three times as good. Really, really awesome, really happy with it, much improved. O3B claimed this would be fibre from the sky and it absolutely is. Yeah. We've had our own technical people talk to those who run fibre cable systems in a close by and the kind of speeds that we can achieve are as good as what they're getting. The, the key difference that O3B brings is the same performance that you get over terrestrial networks. So we have the same latency and the same kind of throughputs and that makes a world of difference. It makes a world of difference in a telco environment but it also makes a world of difference in a maritime environment or in an energy environment or indeed in a government environment. Well, I think the simplest way for Google uh, to, to talk about latency is when you type in a search in Google, we have Google Instant Search, which as you type, you're going to see the uh, search results scroll up on the screen. And really, if the latency gets too high, uh, as it is with several of the geo systems, that's, that system automatically detects the latency and shuts it down, and you're no longer able to do that. And the web is more and more going to these highly interactive services. And so latency, reducing latency is very important. I was extremely pleased to finally have something comparable to the types of latencies that you have, whether it's in Western Europe and North America. I mean, I could not believe my eyes when I actually got a chance to see, because for me it was something that was revolutionary. Mm -hmm.